Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Doctor Who the TARDIS constructible set by character building. I don't know uh, when this uh, set uh, first came out. I'm going to guess uh, probably around 2012 or 2013. Uh, but I did get this set in 2013 when I purchased it from a Barnes & Noble bookstore. And uh, I paid $19.95 uh, for this set. Taking a closer peek at uh, this particular set here. And uh, it is of the TARDIS, the police-like uh, box uh, from the Doctor Who series, uh, which is the main uh, transportation vehicle of the Doctor. And uh, you can see uh, that this set also includes two particular figures from the Revived series. Uh, we have the 11th Doctor, or Matt Smith Doctor, and we also have Amy Pond as the companion. Uh, so they are included in this Doctor set, or this TARDIS set. And uh, it's pretty neat. And uh, this set contains uh, 53 pieces uh, to construct the TARDIS here. And uh, this uh, particular set is by Character Building. I believe it is a company from the United Kingdom and uh, is uh, a product license of uh, the BBC, uh, which is uh, the uh, networker that uh, produces uh, the Doctor Who uh, show. Along the side, you can see here uh, pictures of the figures included in this set, the 11th Doctor and Amy Pond. And uh, here uh, we have uh, more information about character building, uh, I guess their uh, motto. It's collectible, constructible, and compatible. Uh, most likely compatible with Lego. And uh, you can see the logos here of character building and Kobe. And uh, also a link to the character uh, building uh, website, uh, characteronline.co.uk. There, top of the box uh, has the Doctor Who logo there, uh, the TARDIS mini set. Uh, again, uh, featuring two figures that are included in the set. And the actual size of the uh, mini figures there. Here's the bottom of the box uh, with barcode information and uh, more uh, information about character options, not character building, sorry. And uh, what's kind of cool here is unlike uh, most uh, product uh, t and toys that are made uh, in China, this one is actually made in Poland, uh, which is uh, pretty nice to see uh, that uh, uh, China does not have... Uh, complete control over uh, toy development or production there, so pretty neat. Uh, you do have here information about the TARDIS mini set, uh, the item number, which is 03850, and it's aged for uh, five years and uh, up. And uh, here we have the back of the package uh, with the TARDIS, and it looks like it has uh, opening doors, uh, which is uh, pretty neat, and the two figures. And uh, in rather small print, uh, you do have information about the TARDIS, which is pretty cool. Uh, actually, quite detailed information on there. So, and also information about uh, the Doctor and uh, Amy Pond. So, pretty neat. Now, we'll be right back and have the contents of this set out of the box. We have here all the contents of the TARDIS set out of the box and uh, we're going to go ahead and, and take a closer peek at each of these items and uh, we'll start out with this here and it's a sticker sheet uh, for application onto uh, the TARDIS. So you have the Windows stickers here which is uh, pretty cool and then you have the police box and information uh, that go along the top edge of the doors which is uh, pretty neat and then you have uh, here the police box uh, usage information that you can apply on the door and here you have stickers for the St. John's Ambulance uh, logo which I think is a, an, a thing that's specific with the 11th Doctor or Matt Smith Doctor TARDIS uh, I guess if you wanted to 
construct a TARDIS from a previous uh, series, yeah, you just not include that St. John's Ambulance logo sticker on there. Although you can't recreate every uh, incarnation of the TARDIS with this set because I believe uh, the police box usage information on some of the TARDIS is, uh, were printed on black instead of white on there. So you really uh, can only produce so many versions of the TARDIS, I guess, with this set. Also included on this uh, sticker sheet is the character building uh, uh, logo here. I guess if you want to adorn your TARDIS with this uh, character building logo, you can, uh, which is uh, pretty neat. So that's the sticker sheet here. And uh, we have here a little cardboard type insert of the interior of uh, the TARDIS, so, uh, which is pretty cool here. Uh, let me get that to focus. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see if we can get a uh, better focus. There we go. And uh, so uh, when you open the doors to the TARDIS, you can see the interior of the TARDIS uh, within here. Now this uh, interior looks uh, very much like the uh, 10th Doctor and early 11th Doctor uh, TARDIS uh, before Matt uh, Smith uh, went with a more uh, marine green or aqua green interior from the 7th series so this is an earlier um, 11th Doctor interior and uh, we have here the assembly manual for the TARDIS and it's uh, pretty basic on the construction on there uh, they put a lot of steps uh, within one page so especially right here with the columns <laughs> I assume you already know how to do that uh, visually without having to resort to one brick per page on there. You can see the insertion of the cardboard insert there. And um, we also have uh, these here for the roof. And uh, we have a parts list there. So pretty neat. And. Uh, what we also have are the actual parts to construct the TARDIS. Uh, we have one big bag here in blue pieces that are uh, all you need to construct the uh, TARDIS itself. And uh, you can see the gray base there. Uh, pretty interesting. And it uh, looks like uh, some of the doors are pre-sculpted. Uh, looks like to be shut. So. I believe some of them uh, pieces of, for the door pieces are to be swung inwards, so that's uh, pretty cool. And then you have two bags here, one uh, for each of the minifigures uh, to be able to put together. And uh, the instruction uh, manual does not show you how to put them together, but uh, you really don't need to. It's re relatively uh, basic and uh, really easy to do without having to resort to uh, instructions on putting it together. Now uh, we'll be right back and have a constructed TARDIS set uh, along with the figures. A completed TARDIS and the two figures uh, in the set put together and after putting it together uh, we had uh, one piece left over uh, just a little uh, single pip uh, building piece here and uh, before we take a look at the TARDIS we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the figures uh, that are included first up we have the doctor and it's pretty much a standard uh, release of the 11th doctor in the the micro figure or mini figure uh, line uh, with uh, 
the Matt Smith doctor wearing his uh, traditional bow tie and tweed uh, jacket and it's uh, pretty neat uh, it's got the standard likeness uh, for these uh, figures in the line uh, in that uh, they're a more um, tunish appearance as opposed to an actual uh, likeness to the uh, actors uh, that portray the characters uh, but you can still see a uh, a likeness uh, to M Matt Smith, uh, like the chin here, and uh, the coif uh, haircut there, and uh, so it's pr and it's pretty standard as far as articulation goes uh, for a micro figure in the line. Uh, the head can go all the way around, and the arms uh, can go uh, all the way around at the shoulder. The hands can go all, all the way around at the wrist, right there, pretty standard, and uh, the figure can go all the way around at the waist, and the legs uh, can go uh, up and uh, down and back. And there are uh, holes at the bottom of the feet, uh, so you can place them on a uh, standard sized peg uh, from either uh, the character building line or a compatible Lego line. So, but uh, this is the doctor here. Some nice uh, little details uh, on the uh, on the figure. Next uh, figure we're going to go ahead and take a look at is uh, Amy Pond, and uh, this is a uh, uh, pretty, like I said, uh, standard uh, figure uh, in the line. Uh, articulation wise uh, I'm not going to go over the articulation uh, since it's uh, pretty similar I'll just note the differences uh, in that uh, the head on this figure does not go all the way around due to the length of the hair on here and the uh, legs uh, don't go uh, as far up or back uh, due to the skirt but you can uh, take a look at the details of this figure it's actually a pretty cool uh, you can see uh, she has a dark gray jacket, a red shirt underneath uh, that's painted, and uh, you can see a little bit of her of a belt uh, painted on there at the waist level. And uh, I did have to mention that the skirt is made of a soft, rubbery type of uh, material, so there it does give a little leeway uh, to the articulation of legs, but not that much. And uh, you can see also some folds in the skirt on there uh, which is a, a nice touch and uh, she's wearing I believe those are the uh, boots cowboy type boots uh, that she's wearing for footwear so pretty uh, neat figure and the likeness on here is a little bit less than uh, the uh, Matt Smith likeness uh, to the figure but uh, you can actually tell that uh, this is the uh, Amy Pond uh, character on there. So, pretty cool. Now we'll take a look at the TARDIS here. And it's pretty neat. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a uh, darker blue, I guess, to match uh, the uh, 11th Doctor uh, TARDIS. I think uh, the 10th Doctor TARDIS was a little bit lighter blue. But uh, this uh, overall blue is a little bit darker, uh, I guess closer for to the uh, 11th uh, Doctor. And uh, it's pretty cool, you can see uh, all the way around. Uh, the door is only open uh, here through the front. They do swing open and closed, which is pretty cool. They do swing inward, uh, but once you have the doors in the inward position, position uh, it's pretty difficult to get the uh, doors back uh, open uh, and if you swing it inwards uh, too far in uh, you won't be able to swing them uh, back outwards unless you take the uh, the TARDIS apart uh, and I usually uh, try to take it uh, apart th through the top so I can uh, get the doors back open outwards but um, so you just have to be careful not to swing the doors uh, inwards too much. You can swing it uh, closed uh, right there and uh, it's uh, pretty cool. You can see some of the details uh, here like the uh, little windows on the sides and on the front and back 
pretty nice and you can see the uh, instructions on how to use the police box on there it's very small print I'm not sure you'll be able to read it uh, through the video it's pretty much the standard uh, I guess uh, instructions on how to use the police box uh, that's on uh, most TARDISes on the right here you have the St. John's um, ambulance logo there uh, which is uh, pretty interesting. The, the sticker, uh, the blue sticker that has that St. John's uh, ambulance logo is a little bit brighter blue than uh, the actual um, character building uh, piece. So it does stand out a little bit. It doesn't blend as well as it uh, should. But that's okay. It's not too bad. At the top here you can see uh, the sign here uh, indicating that it is a uh, public call police box. And that's on all four sides there. Pretty nice. And uh, you can also see the the, the lights here, uh, signal light, I guess. Uh, but it's all in standard blue, uh, and it does not light at all. But it's got a nice sculpt to it uh, to indicate it's a signal light. So pretty nice. Now, when you have these uh, doors opened, let me just go ahead and open these. You can actually see the interior of the TARDIS, where it is bigger on the inside. Uh, you have uh, that cardboard piece that's in there. And uh, you can see uh, the TARDIS uh, within, which is a pretty neat touch. I like that. Uh, pretty cool. And you have a gray base for the floor there. so. Pretty nice. Uh, and on the bottom, uh, there's uh, just your standard uh, design of a uh, Lego type uh, design there. Nothing uh, to add to it. But overall, a really neat piece to have uh, a Lego sized uh, TARDIS and uh, the uh, Doctor and Companion to go with it. Uh, and it's a really nice set uh, to have if you're a Doctor Who fan. This is my uh, casual peek into the Doctor Who, the TARDIS uh, constructible set by Character Building. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.